Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is about the Tableau Quadrant Chart. I want to talk about how you can leverage the Quadrant Chart to analyze and understand the customer value. As you can see in this dashboard, I made a customer value Quadrant Chart using the Superstore data from 2013. Each data point is representing a customer who has made purchases in 2013. All customers are measured by two dimensions, one dimension is the average order value. The other dimension is the average order frequency. Based on these two dimensions, I bucketed all customers into four distinct groups or quadrants. On top of these four quadrants, I also highlighted my top 30 customers who have generated the most customer value for the company. All right, let's go ahead to take a look at how to create the quadrant chart in Tableau. To begin with, we need to create a basic scatter bar chart. Drag order value to columns. Drag order frequency to rows. Go to the analysis menu bar and unselect aggregate measures. Because I want to dynamically change the quadrant based on the cutoff values, I need to create two parameters. One parameter is called the order frequency cutoff. The other parameter is called the order value cutoff. Go ahead and edit the parameter. Inside the parameter, I set the data type to be integer and allowable values to be a data range. You need to choose the appropriate mean and max values for the range of your cutoff parameter values. Next, you need to create a new calculated field called quadrant. This field will allow you to define each quadrant based on the average order value and order frequency. Inside the calculation, for quadrant with large order value and more frequent purchase, I set both order value and order frequency to be greater than or equal to the cutoff values. In comparison, for the quadrant with low order value and less frequent purchase, I want the order value and frequency to be less than the cutoff value points. Drag this calculated field to color mark. You may also want to tweak the color assignment and choose the appropriate colors to represent each quadrant. You may also want to adjust the shape of the scatter plot for example, I want to change the shape from diamond to a hollowed circle. In addition, I want to highlight the top customers who have generated the most value for the company. I need to create a new calculated field called customer value. I define customer value as the average order value times the order frequency. Once done, go to customer name and right click choose to create a set. Go to this set and go to the top pane. Choose view by field. I set the field to be the customer value field that I just created. Please note that if you want your top customers to be a variable, then you also need to create a parameter so that you can dynamically change this value to show top end customers you want to highlight. For example, I already created a parameter called top customers and then in the field, I choose to view by field top customers. To highlight the top end customers, you need to drag and drop the top customer set to the color mark. You first drop it to the label mark and click the image and switch to color. Drop the same set to the shape mark and then to the size mark. You may want to do additional formatting to the quadrant chart. For example, I want to change the color assignment of the top end customers. Go to the color mark and select edit colors. Assign color red to the customers who are in the top customer set. Now you can see the top end customers are highlighted with a different color and shape. You may also want to modify the tooltip to show additional information for your customers. Now we have the customer value quadrant chart. You can also create a customer value dashboard based on this chart. 
In this dashboard, you can modify the average order value and order frequency to dynamically segment your customer base. You can also tweak the top end customers to highlight people who have generated the most value for the company. Based on these insights, you can come up with different messaging for customers in a given segment in order to improve their customer value and optimize the return on investment. I hope this video is helpful. Please leave a comment if you have any questions. Thanks for watching and see you next time.